AI tools can help you save hours while making presentations. In this video, I will show you five AI tools that can help teachers, students and other professionals as they create amazing presentations in seconds. The first tool is Gamma AI. This tool can be used using different modes. The first one is based in a text generated with a prompt or you can import a presentation using a file or URL. For discussion purposes, we're going with the first one. So once you have pasted your content, you click on continue. This will take you to a page where you can create a presentation using different prompts. So I have chosen that. You can choose a condensed mode as well. You can be brief. I'm, so I'm choosing medium. So I've chosen that tone and now I'm happy with what I've got over here. I'll click continue. So once I get to this page, this gives me an option to choose any sort of template that I could use. So if I'm going with this one, so this is how it will look. Or I can change it to make it more professional. I can make it more colorful. I can make it light. I can make it dark or I can reshuffle the theme as well. So I'll just go with this one to start with. And if I click on that. So now my presentation is pretty much ready. This tool has helped me to create this presentation using the notes that I have put in. So now this is my presentation. I don't need to uh, edit this anymore. So if I'm happy with this, I can go ahead and present my presentation. So there you go. I've got that ready. I can go ahead and present that. Next tool, Slidesco. Slidesco is a platform with stunning templates, thousands of free Google Slides and, path and powerful presentation templates as well. So what I've done here, I have pasted in my content that I used for the first one as well. Now I'll just go in and click on that. It will help me to create a list of topics, uh, templates, slides that I can use. We'll come back to this later on. Let's go and check out the next one. So the next tool is Slides GPT. This is, a, this is perfect for students that are under pressure to meet deadlines or anyone who is trying to Prepare minutes or presentations for meetings and stuff as well. So what we do here is with slides and GPT, all you do is you put in your prompt or information that you need on the in the presentation, and then you click on this, and this will help you to create an outline of your presentation. And once you are happy with the outline, you can go ahead and edit that as well if you want to. Otherwise, if you're happy with the content that you've got here, you click on that and now it will help you to create a list of slides that you can use. So now this is creating a list of slides that you can use for your presentation. Here you go. It's, it's, it's starting with your topic, list of subtopics that you need. And the second one that you might look at now is um, the impact of it. It has some pictures that has been generated by uh, AI as well. And now you've got footnotes that are here that you can use, understanding of climate change, and then causes. It's giving you all the information that you needed for your class or your presentation that you were trying to set up. So finally, you have got your slides that are ready. It has got pictures as well. It's quite engaging. Students can will be able to engage that. Or if you are if you are trying to promote a product, you can put in pictures of the product here as well. You can um, then at the end you can have like this could be your slide where you can ask questions. You can put in questions. Uh, these are like um, the review questions from the topic that I put. If you are a student, you can put in your notes, your results from a research that you have done. So I've got my photos that are there now, and this is how my slide looks in the end now all of that has been generated through slides in gpt now the next tool that i'll look at is 
Mentimeter, which creates engaged presentations as well. So what I've done here is I've used the same content that I've used for the others. And now I've created, it will, so you, all you do is you put in the prompt and it will create all this for you as well. Then you can go ahead and share and, and print that as well. You can change the layout if you want to. You can go ahead and change the background. So, and you can up, update your images that are here as well. So heaps of things that you can do with this. You can change the themes, you can change the templates, you can change um, these things as well. You can go ahead and change the number of slides that you need for the presentation. So this is quite a good tool for you to use when you are trying to engage your audience with colors and images and other important things that you like to address in, or add to your presentation as well. An AI system that can be used for study is pitch.com. So it comes in three different prices. So you might go with the first one. So if you, if you choose, choose the first one, you can use a free vision, which allows you to create unlimited presentations as well. So what you need to do now here is you can start your presentation. You can create, uh, uh, if you don't need, you don't need this. So you go ahead and uh, create your present presentation templates using a, a, your same content that you had over in the first ones as well. So when you start, you start with AI, you put in your uh, prompt and then you start generating. So what happens is it will go ahead and you, it will create a presentation for you, which you can edit and, and, and use, or you can share that with others as well. Here you've got your uh, main uh, um, templates that have been chosen for you. You can go ahead and, and change that and you can go ahead and edit that in, in here. So I'll go and use my notes that I've got from my previous topic or my discussion and I can go ahead and change all these contents that I don't like. Or if, if So this one has more pictures, it, ha it has more design. Uh, if you need more content, you might go with the others. So this, these are basically the, some of the tools that I've used. If I go and check on my previous one that I've created, so it was slides uh, AI. So this is basically what it came up with. So if I've chosen that, now it will create a presentation, which will help me to present my idea. So it had the same process where you had to go ahead and choose add a feature. So once you have done that, it will help you to create a presentation based on any of based on the ideas that you have put in. So, so if you are a teacher looking for uh, tools that can help you with your presentation or a student trying to create a presentation or team leader trying to get ready for an idea, uh, these are some AI tools that can save you hours. Uh, hit the like button if you have learned something new, subscribe for more videos and drop in a comment about which tool you will use first. Uh, thanks for watching.